My name is Carson. Welcome to Thrifty Garage, a channel where we do everyday repairs, how to's, and reviews. And in today's video, we're unveiling a new work truck. Recently, we purchased this 2015 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD. This is a 6.0 gas engine. Picked this up as a work truck and we're gonna do a little bit of a review on this. We do have some uh, future plans and upgrades intended for it, and we've got some things to repair before we get to that. Um, so let's kind of do a quick walk around and we'll get into it. Up front here we have a ranch hand front uh, grill guard, brush bar, really like the looks of that. We got a full crew cab four door, really happy about that. This is a LT truck, which is perfect for me. It's got the uh, claw seats and the, it'll seat six. This is a, I believe a long bed truck, eight foot bed. Uh, it's been converted to a flat bed. And uh, pretty happy about this. Um, but we are thinking about uh, possibly converting this back to a, a traditional truck bed and uh, getting a gooseneck package put on it. But it does have this right now. But this is obviously intended for a dually. And this is obviously a single wheel. Um, I prefer single wheel trucks. I, I just get into a lot of tight job sites and uh, I prefer having that single wheel. I already go with the long bed. So, uh, you know, these long bed crew cabs are long trucks to begin with. Adding a dually just makes them huge and uh, gives a little bit more versatility when it's a single wheel. So, uh, nothing much to be seen back here. So, there's kind of a quick view on the exterior. Um, some damage points that we'll need to fix. We've got our fog lights up here. This one has been broken, so we'll be doing a repair on that. Also up front here, underneath in my initial inspection, found this guy, which looks like it's not been uh, installed for a very, very long time. So uh, I, th I think this might have a leveling kit on it. I'm not entirely sure. I'm thinking about taking that off possibly, but usually that causes some CV shaft wear, so I will need to be putting new half shafts up front here on this side and the other side we've got a broken boot so same thing it needs two new half shafts up front here everything else looked pretty good the steering suspension all feels really tight which is a huge upgrade from my uh, 2007 truck which is uh, very loose in the steering what other big upgrades are we looking up here so the big thing is putting a bed on um, we also plan to put the plow on, so we'll be putting a uh, front plow mount on the front and we'll put a, a wiring harness for the salter in the rear and the plow up front. Inside here we've got the cloth seats. This thing is like mint. This was obviously a work truck before. As you can see right here, we've got work truck 82. So this is part of a large fleet and uh, driver's seat's got some wear. Uh, I actually, this whole seat uh, is a little bit uh, broken in. Obviously this whole truck, this is the only seat that really got sat in. The other seat feels brand new. Um, so I do plan to get a, a lower portion for this seat and replace that. And inside here, like I said, we've got some, we got some, uh, extra features. We've got the pedal controls. We've got the parking sensors, which are installed in the rear. You know, that's another thing. The, the backup camera doesn't work. It's not installed in that bed. So that's another reason to go back to a traditional bed. Oh, we got a, we got a bonus in here. We got the window sticker. So we will cover that at the end, but that, that was really exciting to find a window sticker. It also comes with all the factory paperwork, which is still in its package. So that's really cool. It is a gas truck. So this is a 6.0 and we've got 155,000 miles on it, which uh, these 6.0 liters, they're pretty uh, boltproof motors. Pretty happy with that. Um, this winter doing snow removal, having some uh, concerns with diesel gelling. Uh, wanted to have another truck that was gas. So we had a good backup in the event that uh, the diesel gelled up. Still gonna be using the diesel truck uh, for the most part, but I want this truck as a backup. We've got the enlarged screen. So this is not the work truck screen. Same thing with up here upgraded up front everything. So this is a really nice truck overall. Um, all the steering wheel does have some wear in it, but pretty happy with this for a work truck. And let me see there's some other things that we're gonna fix. So like I said, we'll, we'll, I'm looking at beds right now. I found a bed for uh, 850 bucks. 
I'm going to need a bumper to put with it. Hopefully I can find a bed that comes with a tailgate. So we'll get that reverse camera. We'll get that all wired up. Hopefully that wiring harness out back isn't too messed up. And then probably a few other miscellaneous things to come with that. Uh, the, we'll have to get a new filler neck possibly if the bed doesn't come with that. Um, so the CV shafts up front. And then it does have a few electrical things going on right now. The trailer brake wiring harness. So apparently these things go bad. So we start off the truck. It says trailer brake system, service it. So I'll stop the beeping. So when you get in the truck here, it says service the trailer brake system. So I, I'm doing the quick research on, on the internet. I think that might be this unit right here needs to be replaced. Um, and then the right blinker. So when you turn on the right blinker, it works. And then right turn indicator failure and it goes faster. So I'm not sure exactly what that is. I don't know how it would know, but I think that might possibly be a burnt out bulb. So on this side, we've got two bulbs blinking. On this side, we just have the one. So that could be a simple a swap this guy out and put a new bulb in here. Um, like I said, we may not even be keeping this bed. And then the tires on here, pretty, pretty new, super aggressive, look good. Actually looks like they're a little bit dry rotted. What's our uh, date stamp on these? 20th week of 18, so uh, they're three years old. So not too terribly old. Like I said, they got good tread on them. A little bit aggressive for my liking there, a little bit noisy, but uh, we'll, we'll send them as is. Um, possibly looking at upgrading the wheels to something that's um, off the, the higher packaged trucks. And then uh, it's got these nice steps on here. Yeah, overall, great truck. We are a little bit dusty and dirty in here. This uh, the previous owner was a farmer or rancher. So um, this ended up just sitting for the most part, it sounds like. And it just the dust and dirt from the, the farm kind of crept into the hood here, I guess. That's what he said. But uh, yeah, like I said, overall it drives super nice. It, nothing really to see in here. And if we go inside here, let's take a look at that. Uh, window sticker so here's the original window sticker we've got a 6.0 v8 engine six-speed automatic transmission it's got an electronic transfer case 410 gear ratios it's got the auto locking rear deferential those things are awesome especially for plowing snow and we've got the all your safety stuff it's got the 40 60 uh, rear folding seat and it's got the 40 20 40 bench up front which is what i prefer it's got remote windows or uh, remote doors um, it's kind of all your standard features the price tag of 43,670, and then we've got the lt convenience package which comes with power adjustable seats we've got the front fog lamps we've got the dual climate control up front here we got a remote vehicle start we got the bigger display up here We've got this uh, 110 volt outlet down here. And then we also have the LT Plus package, which has the uh, um, power rear park assist. We've got the power adjustable pedals. We've got the power sliding rear window. And then we've got the integrated trailer brake controller as well. So lots of cool little features on here. And then we've got a total price tag out the door of 48,355,000. dollars and uh, I won't say what I picked this up for, but I will say it got it for a pretty good deal. $15,000 below uh, the current uh, values, the NADA values. Uh, my insurance agent told me that. Uh, our bank told us that. So we got a score deal on this. I saw it pull up on uh, Facebook Classifieds. And within 30 minutes, I saw the listing. I immediately texted the seller. Uh, and it was about 45 minutes away. Quickly drove out there and took a look at it. Um, haggled a little with him haggled a little bit with him on the price uh, mostly because of the CV shafts and he indicated there's a few other issues but uh, pretty happy with what I paid for it and it's gonna be a work truck um, gonna be a good work truck pretty happy about that and uh, yeah so uh, if you're interested in the truck interested in what we're gonna do to it the upgrades the, the put the bed on uh, fixing the CV shafts all that stuff um, check out the channel subscribe and we'll be showing more of this truck to come and uh, Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for watching Thrifty Garage, and we'll see you on the next one.